My name is Leslie Woke. I am a physician, a wife of six years, mom of two, um, as well as an entrepreneur. Um, I love working with entrepreneurs and influencers and helping them to bring their emotions in alignment with their purpose. So I grew up here in Atlanta, Georgia, but uh, my family is originally from Nigeria. My dad um, is from Oweri, my mom is from Mbano. So, you know, even though growing up here, I had a very strong, um, you know, cultural presence in our home. Like, we knew that we were Nigerian. We grew up right in the middle of the city, like um, in the Western area in Atlanta. And, you know, I think like many, um, kind of like first gen families or like immigrant families. We, it was like seven of us and a three bedroom apartment. But um, we had fun. You know, one of the things I have to credit my parents, we never realized um, just how difficult or how tight things were. But we were surrounded with so much love and so much family. It was interesting. I remember in sixth grade, um, there was one night that my mom had made like pepper soup and she had boiled like stockfish and um, I, made the <laughs> I made the mistake of leaving my jacket and my book bag <laughs> downstairs um, while she was boiling said stockfish and I put on my jacket and um, you know my stuff and went to school and I put it in the area and without like within a few minutes like all the kids in the class were like what is that smell? Oh my God, you're an African booty scratcher. You're an African booty scratcher. And I will never forget that because, I mean, I really enjoyed the pepper soup that she made, but then it's like, you reap the consequences because people smell it on you. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I had moments like that in school, but then I was also very um, adamant about sharing my culture. Um, you know, we would have cultural days and I would put on, you know, our um, Ankara, I would Thai Rapa, and I was always very keen on wanting to explain that to people and show that it's not just what you see on TV. You know, I always got from my dad that no matter how much work you have to do, no matter the circumstances, you find a way and do it. Um, I remember um, around my middle school time, um, I was in a magnet program and we had a lot of homework. And I remember there was one night, um, you know, because we used to work in our little basement with like our table and the light was kind of dim and um, I had a lot. It was, you know, I had like I think three, like three different subjects that night to do. And he came down and he was like, man, you know, uh, we don't have any light bulbs to change. And, and he kind of empathized. He was like, man, you have a lot of homework, but you'll do it. You'll get it done. <laughs> And, you know, and he, he, you know, like he brought me a cup of water and was like, well, you know, keep going. Um, and that was kind of that delicate blend that I got from my parents. Um, they really did empathize that, yeah, you may go through something that's tough, but then there's always a goal that you have to reach regardless. Um, so that's something that has really carried me, especially now that, um, you know, I am in medicine, um, I'm married, I have two children, you know, life can sometimes feel um, very overwhelming and chaotic, but I'm always kind of going back to that early lesson for my parents, like, no matter what it is, you get it done. And that's something that is, um, that has carried me. I think another lesson that, um, I've taken from my parents. My parents are always like, don't deny who you are. Like your your name, you know, is Leslie Oluchi at the time, like my maiden name, Ibanusi. You know, say that, own that. This is who you are. And I'm so grateful for that um, because it really just um, created an environment where I could fully appreciate my culture as well as appreciate this American culture that I was also um, very present and living in and that's something that I've been um, my husband and I have been very adamant to also pass on to our children like know your name my son's name is Chia Dozier and um, oftentimes people want to ask well does he have a nickname 
And I'm like, no, his name is Chi Edozier. And I'm very, I want him to see me telling people that so that as he gets older, he has that same confidence that, no, my name is Chi Edozier. Okay, this is my name and, and love it. Um, so those are two key lessons that I got from my parents growing up. There's this mindset that we decide on a career path and that's it for the rest of our lives. I think now more than ever as, um, as this millennial generation, like we are constantly shifting and changing and transitioning into other things. So that's one thing that's actually really exciting. But the way I, you know, I always knew that I wanted to do medicine. That was among one of the first things I said growing up that I wanted to be, um, was to be a doctor. It was also just impressed on me that you want to do medicine too. <laughs> so I had the desire and it was also put on me. I really honed in on ways that I want to make it my own. Um, and that is a lot of also what you'll see me do on social media too. Like I know that I'm doing, I'm in a residency, I'm doing psychiatry, but I also want to be able to take this esoteric knowledge that I'm giving to my patients and that I'm discussing with other physicians, I wanna bring that to um, the everyday person who may not go to a psychiatrist or who may not go to a therapist. Um, so yeah, I chose medicine, but I'm also redefining medicine for the way I want to express it um, and, and give it back to the world. You know, being someone that is an African woman, and yeah, I may be among few that are doing psychiatry, but there's a reason for that. Then the reason being is, let me take what I'm learning within psychiatry and bring it back to um, people that look and feel and that have a similar narrative like me. Honestly, what really motivates me, um, what has motivated me within um, my line of work is, I have grown up um, both in my family and in just among like other Nigerian family and friends, um, and there's just this emotional disconnect. Um, and it's something I always wrestled with. <laughs> I, I always wrestled with that because I was someone that felt very deeply. Um, call me sensitive, I don't know. Um, but I see that as a thing of strength, and I always wondered why with other um, Africans, there was just this disconnect. And, you know, when, so 